Hello, so today I've got a rather interesting mask to show you. Thanks to Marcus for sending me this because it's one of those ones he sent me to let me do a review on it and all that and then I can send it off to him. So I do appreciate that. So this is the German M2000 or the Draeger M2000. I think it's sometimes called the F2000 as well. But essentially this is, as far as I'm aware, the German military's current respirator. And it's basically the thing they finally replaced the M65 series with. I think there's been a few sort of masks they've used in low numbers in between them. But if you're familiar with the M62, M65 series, here's my M62 missing its straps. Um, basically, this is the design they actually use for completely ages. And this is the mask that replaced it. So as you can see, they're fairly similar things, actually. This has the speech diaphragm and exhale valve sort of uh, um, speech diaphragm there. Excel valve at the bottom by the look of it. Um, but what's interesting of this is it uses a very strange uh, filter thing, so I'll show you that first. So basically there's a button on this side, you depress that, then you pull this and the filter comes out. So the mask's default filter looks like this, quite a strange thing. Um, the purpose for this I don't know, because I think it's basically so you can have the filter facing in slightly different directions. Um, it seems quite an unnecessary thing, but at least when you pull the filter out, and it seems sometimes when you depress the button the filters come out easier than other times. It does look like it has a regular thread there, so I'm just going to test that. I mean, I could have read up online about this, but I couldn't be bothered. Uh, yeah, there we go. So basically, it can thankfully use conventional 40mm filters, which is how I imagine most people want to use it. But it does also have this sort of strange filter system. So I, I really don't know what the purpose of this was. I'm sure I could Google it and find out quite easily. But I'm guessing it's so you could have the filter offset to one side. Um, you know, so it's a bit easier for shouldering a rifle or whatever. Size-wise, it pretty much is identical to a 40mm. There's not too much in it. This might be marginally smaller, but as I said, not much to it. So, let's have a look at the mask itself so it's pretty straightforward it's got what looks like a comfortable head harness or feels like a comfortable head harness i'll put on in a moment that's the inside of it so you know triangular lenses rubber feels pretty good the drinking straw system is pretty interesting obviously the drinking straw connects to it under this cap if i can pull it off there we go but what makes the drinking straw system interesting is you push that up and down in there and you might be able to see that moves the straw in and out like that. So quite an interesting system for the drinking straw. Um, I don't know if that's a particularly good system or not, but it certainly looks better than some of the masks I've seen. So this might be too big for me, but let's try it on. It would help if I pulled this off, wouldn't it? There we go. So this is actually quite a good face fit uh, for me, it seems, in large. My eyes look like where they're meant to be as well. So... Let's just get the head harness tightened up properly. Could really do with shaving my hair off soon. Right, but yeah, that seems alright. So yeah, it seems alright. I don't think it's by far the best mask I've ever used, but um, you know, it seems perfectly functional in all honesty. You know, I, I maybe I'd want one size down from this one. I'm not sure. My eyes do seem pretty lined up, but yeah. It's quite a comfortable face fit. Hopefully the voice diaphragm's pretty good. You can tell me that when you review the footage. But yeah, it's certainly a step up over the M65. But obviously something interesting to talk about with the M62, sort of M65 series, is that that was a mask that technically, although Germany was one of the first countries to design it, so many of the sort of foreign copies and clones of it were a lot better than the original mask. So basically... The Israelis, Taiwan, and Romania all definitely did better copies, sort of with more features than the original M65. I think Greece did as well, if I remember right. Right, let's try the other filter for this and see how that compares. So we'll take this one off. And let's put back on the proper filter for the mask. So, I've never done a filter like this before, so let's see what it's like. In all honesty, I think th this would be much better for filter changing than it's like a standard 40mm. <laughs> easy, to, easy to pressure check with it. Let's just try taking it off and putting it on. Right, let's uh, take a breath and hold my breath. Yeah, okay, I take it back. This is quite a good system for just swapping out filters very easily. Essentially hold the button in and pull it out. Sort of twist and pull it. 
then when you put it back in you just literally push it in from any angle and give it a bit of a twist as you push it in and it clicks into place. So yeah, quite a good filter system. Of course, masks like this still have a problem, don't they? You can't look down with them. So there's that. But yeah, overall this seems quite a good mask. Now, if you were to ask me how would something like this compare to something like the S10, I would say it would be better. If you were to ask me how would this compare to something like an M50 or whatever, probably not as good. Uh, in hindsight though, well not hindsight, but you know, just grabbing on the masks I have available over here. I don't know if I'd actually recommend it over a Scott sort of M95 slash M110, whatever they're called, you know, these. Um, I know obviously the filter faces forwards on this and it's sideways on this, but they're very similar masks actually, thinking about it, you know, how they at least feel when you're wearing them. Um, don't get me wrong, this is cool, but in terms of, you know, practicality, You know, for me this would be absolutely perfect, and it's pretty much the same field of view on them, similar feeling rubber. So yeah, uh, the Draeger um, M2000 is a very cool design, but I don't think it really beats anything else out there, you know. If you can get one for a good price, I think this would be an excellent mask, but I don't think it's, you know, it doesn't reinvent the wheel or anything. It just seems a perfectly acceptable mask, which is fine. Obviously, it's a massive step up from the M65 style masks they were using before. But if you said to me, is this a lot better than something like an Israeli M15, you know, that Taiwanese mask, or the, um, you know, like, Romanian M85s, I wouldn't really say so. It's slightly better, but it's not, you know, amazing, amazing. Um, but yeah, I do like it, don't get me wrong. It's just saw there's a bit of plastic that seems to bend there, but... As this isn't my mask, I don't really want to, um... Ah, I see, that removes the cover. Right, let's, um, let's have a go at this, so... See what's under here. So, with this bit of plastic, it looks like you pull that up. There we go, and that detaches the, um... Assembly there, so there we go. That's the interesting system with that. So that's your, uh, filter release mechanism. With the default system. Obviously, there's the voice diaphragm. And there's just the little lever that presses down on it. So yeah, to pop this back together, I assume it would just literally go in the top like that. So it looks like there's a little ridge for it. So that should just push down on there, that's it. And then push back in, there, then it locks in place. That's a good system for disassembly. You don't need any tools to do it. Um, anything with a drinking tube, it'd be better if, I think in theory, you could clamp it down somehow because it doesn't seem to actually have a lock on it. You know, it's just... Uh, because I can imagine you could accidentally knock that up quite easily and not that it's the end of the world if you deploy the drinking tube I'd rather if I design this have like something that clips onto there or whatever so you actually have to unclip it to move it but yeah overall this is actually a really cool mask and as I said don't get me wrong it doesn't reinvent the wheel uh, big thank you to Marcus for sending me one I think if you were in, I mean obviously we're Corona prices now on masks aren't we, but I think if you were paying 50 to £100 pounds for this it would be much better deal than something like an S10 at the moment with the silly prices they cost now. Um, but you know, there's, there's nothing fantastic about it. I do like that it's unique filter system and you, you can still use 40mm filters with this, because as I said, that is a good system that you know, you've got the 40mm connector there, or you can... Um, you know, just simply push in the filter it comes with, that type. So yeah, it's an interesting mask design, um, but as I said, you know, there's kind of a lot of things this I sort of think a bit why, you know, when I look at it, why did they need this sort of unique filter system? But as I said, I'm, I'm not unhappy that it's got it because it is just a 40 millimeter underneath. These sort of masks are a bit more annoying when you buy them, then it turns out they can't take anything but their own proprietary filters which never turn up on the surplus market in day. Um, so, you know, it is much better for something like this, in my opinion, that it does just have that 40mm screw there if you want to use it. But yeah, so the Draeger uh, M2000, pretty cool thing. If you want to have a look at the filter quickly. So, Draeger Safety AG and Co. Um, KGAA. Arwin Fu One Losner thing, and this was made in 2005. So, yeah, so Bund on there for Bundeswehr, I assume, and there's a production number and F2000 on the filter. So, yeah, 
This seems like an interesting mask. Oh, it is an interesting mask. Definitely an interesting mask. Does it do much that other masks don't do? Probably not. Has a unique filter system that's pretty interesting and it's comfortable enough. So yeah, if you see one for a decent price, they'd definitely be worth picking up as a good mask. But personally, for the sort of prices you generally see these for to be imported into the UK, which is about £100 plus, and this was even pre-corona, for that money, I think I'd rather just buy a very good quality panoramic mask. You know, anything like a Scott Pro mask, Scott M98. As I said, one of these. Um, what else fits in that price kind of things like the Spaciani? You know, there's lots of good industrial panoramics as well. But you know, like I said, this is a good mask, but don't pay too much for it because there isn't really anything unique about it other than it's a pretty cool looking mask, don't get me wrong. Um, oh, should mention it's a green colour, so it's a bit more camouflaged if you're wearing this, I guess, than sort of, you know, a brown, black, or white mask. So there is that going for it. But yeah, so there you go. Draeger M2000, pretty good. If you just want another sort of down mask view of it, I'll do that now. So there you go, there's your first person view of wearing the mask. Lenses seem pretty good. Uh, look like some sort of very strong plastic. Oh, I'd say this actually has two layers of plastic on here by the look of it. Yeah, it does. So if you look at that from the side, you might be able to see that there's essentially an outer bit of plastic, like an outsert. Then there's an inner bit, so these should be quite strong lenses. Um, but yeah. Overall, seems to be a really cool mask, um, but as I said, if you were going to buy one, I wouldn't really want to spend more than £100 on this, but we live in the age of Corona, so, you know, maybe £100 is a good price from now, I don't know.